atmosphere is. Know which one, like if you hear that as a private pilot, hey, we have an unstable atmosphere, what does that mean? Well, it probably means in the summertime that you might have relatively good flying conditions, but it might be bumpy and you might have some isolated thunderstorms. Because a stable atmosphere, it sounds nice, right? As a, as a pilot, I want the airplane to be stable when I fly, right? So a stable atmosphere must be good. Well, actually a stable atmosphere might exist with IMC conditions because a stable atmosphere means the air is happy where it's at and it's not going anywhere. And if that air is full of moisture, then that could be low-lying fog. It could be really low vis. It could be showery precip. That's a stable atmosphere. An unstable atmosphere, I kind of, the analogy I use is imagine if you had ping pong balls scattered across the top of a trampoline, and then you put a tent pole in the middle of the trampoline to raise it up just a little bit. All those ping pong balls would fall away down the slope away from that tent pole. The the, the trampoline would be clear then, but if those ping pong balls represent air molecules, they're unstable. They went away. They're clear. Now we have clear air, like a clear trampoline, because of that high pressure system that's moved the air away. So the, the air is unstable because it's not happy where it's at and it's going somewhere else. Now I've oversimplified that, right? If you're a meteorologist, don't be picking me apart saying that Seth, you're wrong. The basic of it the basic gist of that is an unstable atmosphere might actually be a good place for you to fly, but it is going to be bumpier, right? A super stable atmosphere might be IMC conditions. There's always exceptions to these, but this is a good rule of thumb. That's a great thing to know, right? That low pressure system approaches, I'm going to see a wind shift of about 90 degrees. So if I'm flying at an airport that doesn't have a 90 degree crossing runway and there's a system approaching, I might think I might take off and say, oh, the winds are right down the pipe. They're a little strong, but right down the pipe, I'll probably have a good hour before that system gets here. And you take off and go for a flight. You come back and now the winds are out of limits for your crosswind because that cyclonic force, that pressure has gotten closer and you saw a 90 degree wind shift. So that's a good topic that you could bring up here. If you see a 737 reporting moderate turbulence, that might be severe turbulence for you on a 172.